Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to go over the Nox Handroids. I believe it's Nox that makes the Handroids. So, yeah, so Nox, it's right here. Weird. Um, so basically what this is, is it's a race glove or a track glove, I should say. I, wouldn't, I mean, I guess technically it's both. And it's a really premium glove, right? So as you can see, you have the, the hard plastic, the hard plastic on top. And what makes these gloves amazing is this aesthetic right here where you can see this rubber kind of moving in and out. Uh, and then it's kind of on the pinky too, just because it'd be weird without and it's on the thumb. Now, does this serve an actual function? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I picked these up because of the aesthetics and they just happen to also be really good race gloves. I do really love this mechanism where you just push it in and you just ratchet it down. And obviously if you have a jacket on like it, it wouldn't be this tight, but because I don't have a jacket on, it wants to go down to my wrist. And yeah, so, and then when you want to just take off the gauntlet, you just pull up on this tab, pull it apart, and then you just undo this, this, uh, this right here. And you have the little glove to cover over it so it doesn't come off. And then you have the hard pucks right here. And it's all kangaroo leather. So all of this tearing that you see was a, uh, I think it was just like cloth or nylon for whatever reason. And obviously because this is mainly where you grip the bars. Um, and this is for when you actuate the clutch. Like it's all kind of torn and ripped apart now. Also I bought these second hand. So these, uh, the previous owner took this to the track a couple of times. I've never been to a track uh, with these gloves. So, uh, and that just because they were, they were second hand, I wouldn't... I wouldn't wear secondhand gloves to attract just because I don't know how much how durable they are. But as you can see, over the past two years that I've had them, they've held up pretty well. But granted, I'm also not tracking them. Uh, there is a hole right here uh, in the thumb. And uh, that's that's from me. That wasn't from him. I didn't buy it that way. So last time I checked, the current gen of these go for about $250 on the market, uh, MSRP. And I bought these for... I believe a hundred dollars for these gen ones from this dude and it is fantastic i believe there's another hole around here somewhere but i don't quite remember but they've held up fantastically uh, as you can see they're kind of just dirty from the bars and um from just use and stuff like that the only real complaint i have about this is that because these gloves are so old and they've been used so often the the velcro starting to go out where it doesn't really want to stick anymore so when I put it on, like I have to do, like I tuck the Velcro in and then I just make sure that the Knox little flap tab here stays here. So if anything that's going to go out on this glove first, it's probably going to be the Velcro before I have to replace it. And let's be honest, realistically, do you need, like I primarily ride on the street. Do you need gloves like this for the street? No, you definitely don't. But it doesn't hurt uh, if you have the money to buy uh, track ready gloves then I would highly recommend you buy track ready gloves because the way I see it is that you can always overdo the protection and then and then just be fine right so that and you have the quality factor and the lasting factor like like I said uh, if you just look at these gloves uh, I've had I think these gloves are now four years old because he said he bought them brand new when they first came out I have to see how long the gen one's been out I'll annotate it below how long, how old these gloves are in real, in reality. I've had these gloves for about two, two and a half years, I believe, somewhere around there, anywhere from one to two years. I've had them for a, a long time, at least two summers. And, uh, and basically they're, they're fantastic. Now, are they a summer glove? Hell no. They're not perforated. They're black. They are very, very hot and they're very thick. To kind of give you an idea in comparison, right? Here is my my summer quote unquote summer glove, and just by looking at the thumbs. So let me just put these on real quick. Oh, I gotta undo the strap. So if you just look, just comparing the thumbs, look how much thicker these gloves are. And keep in mind these are the same size gloves. My my finger is right here. Um, you can see how much thicker they are in comparison. So this is a very hot glove. Is it doable? Yes, of course it is. You're just, your hands are going to sweat. If you already have sweaty hands, I don't recommend this glove during the summer, but it is definitely doable. Um, and obviously it doesn't have any amenities like the squeegee. 
So if you get rained on, you're just kind of SOL. So yeah. So overall, the all the features of the of this glove are really, really good. I really like this glove. I highly recommend this glove to anyone. Um if you can pick it up, if you can pick it up secondhand and you don't plan on tracking, then I would definitely do it because whatever unless the glove is completely fucked, uh chances are whatever that person, the original person did with this glove, um, it's going to be fine. This glove is designed to go down on a track multiple times before before you have to replace them. So yeah. Um, like I said, you now I believe the Gen 1s only came in black, but now you can I think you can get them in like green and red and all that crazy stuff. Uh I would definitely look up Knox and their gloves. They have really good gloves and they don't just have track ready gloves. They have they have other gloves as well. Honestly, I think for my next pair of gloves, I'm gonna get Alpine Stars because I know their gloves are hit and miss depending on the price bracket. I know their higher end gloves are really good and their lower end gloves are kind of trash because of because of uh, production reasons. But another thing is that there is no pinky, uh, there's no like pinky strap right here to protect my pinky. Now, granted, you can take this with a, a grain of salt. Most, I don't, I think most people that crash on the street don't have to worry about their pinky breaking, but if I can purchase a glove with uh, the pinky attached to the forefinger, I'm going to just because if it can happen on a track, it can happen on the street, even if I'm not doing track things on the street, because let's be fair, if people on a track that is perfectly conditioned for racing, right, it is swept, the pavement is even, uh, probably the asphalt itself is fairly like consistent, it's not cheap in the sense of like, it's probably like if you were to run your hand across the asphalt on a track, it's probably significantly smoother than if you ran your hand against asphalt in the street. If track gloves are being made with this pinky attachment, so that way your pinky doesn't break off on a smooth surface like that, I can only imagine how much higher the chance would be, even though you're going at a lower speed, that your pinky is going to get snagged on something while you're crashing down the freeway or crashing down the street, because you got to think you have all sorts of debris in the road, the road is uneven and who knows what your pinky is going to get caught on. So for me personally, for to save my pinky, because <laughs> I really like my pinkies, my next pair of gloves, once either these go out or my, my summer gloves go out, I am going to, uh, I'm going to uh, get the one with the pinky attached to the forefinger. So that way I don't have to worry about it. So if you have any questions about these gloves, please leave a comment below. And if not, I will see y'all in the next one.